local weather with the KX News Storm Team. Well, the sun has set on a pretty windy day out there. It's feeling pretty raw with these sustained wind speeds as high as around 30 miles per hour. Still sitting at that in the Harvey area, west northwest, 29 sustained. That's giving us a feels like temperature of four below with an actual air temperature of 16. We didn't feel that at all today. We didn't feel the teens. We felt low wind chills all day today. Uh, right now in Bowman, northwesterly winds sustained at 26, still pretty windy with a 12 degree temperature. That wind is making it feel like eight below. So here's some. Of your weather headlines. We actually have colder temperatures to come, and your overnight lows tonight, they're probably going to be single digits, and that's going to give us some sub zero wind chills widespread. Uh, we are looking at some of the lowest this week. On Wednesday morning, a brief warm up on Thursday, only to cool again once we get into Friday, and that's when we start introducing more snow chances, more widespread snow chances. Now, we did see a few light snow showers here along the northeast around the Minot area, up towards Belcourt, Dunseith, into Lake Metagoshi. That's all still a part of this low that's slowly pushing to the east, and we will see that continue to exit, and the winds will relax with that as well. So, the model is still trying to pick up on a few scattered or isolated flurries for tonight. High pressure Pressure moves in through the day tomorrow, and that's why we'll see a nice and sunny day. Although this is a cold high pressure, so as it moves in, the temperatures are going to be basically reinforced to stay cold. Once we get into Thursday, though, uh, probably a pretty quiet day for us in the way of snow. The larger amount of snow that could move through will move through on Friday, and even that, it's going to be more widespread throughout the day, uh, around maybe about a trace to up to about three inches. That's what I have right now with the data that we have right now. Now from this low, this quick moving low. It's going to be fast moving. So, again, if you have travel plans towards the end of the week on Friday, some light to moderate snow could give us a few inches. It's not a major storm at this point, but it is going to be something that could slow you down. Temperatures for right now, they are in the teens, but we know we're not feeling that. We're in the sub zero category for most of us for that wind chill department here, even down to double digits sub zero in Williston. Feels like zero in Bismarck and three below in Minot. When Winds are from the northwest, 20 to 30 miles per hour. They are relaxing for tonight. Wind gusts still around 35 and 40. That's where, where they've been pretty much all day. Just below that wind advisory criteria, but just enough to give you that raw feel outdoors. The winds are going to be relaxing later tonight. You can notice here they're going to stay pretty steady through the overnight, but you'll notice that the second half of your night into tomorrow morning, we'll see those numbers fall. But a wind around 10 to 15 miles per hour is going to give you with lows down to low single digits. It's going to give you wind chills down to around 10 to 15 below. Here are your wind chills as we head into tomorrow morning. Down to 10 to 15 below, possibly colder than that in the northeast. So it is going to be a cold start to your Wednesday. And through the day on Wednesday, winds are out of the northwest at around 10 to 15 or so. Your temperatures will be in the teens. Dickinson, your forecast for the next three days. There's that warm up briefly for Thursday in the 30s. It's a short lived warm up with chances for snow and teens. Back at it on Friday. Here's that forecast for Willis and also seeing a little bit of a warmer air influence for Thursday, uh, back with around 10 for a forecast high by Friday. Over the next week, we are seeing another surge of Arctic air for the next work week. This is your Minot seven day forecast. Notice the average high is 33. We are going to be far from that in this forecast. Bismarck, you also have temperatures really tumbling next week to the single digits for. Daytime highs, which means some pretty dangerous overnight lows. Yeah, we've had a pretty below average November, so maybe we'll have a above average December. We'll see. We're not starting it out that way, but we'll, we'll see. <laughs> we, can, we can hold out hope. Thanks so much, Amber. Coming up next, Century felt the sting of second place a year ago.